Here on the side of a hill, in Davis Gulch on Helena's south side, is an adit, an exploration tunnel dating back to the late 1800s, where miners went through rocks like these looking for valuable minerals. Now, in the coming weeks, this tunnel is set to be closed off because of safety concerns. It's one of a number of sites statewide that are being addressed through the Montana Department of Environmental Quality's Abandoned Mine Lands program. The mantra for the AML programs nationally is stay out, stay alive. Abandoned mines are dangerous. DEQ program manager Bill Snowdy says two adits on this hill were previously closed off, but people trying to get in have reopened them. The city of Helena asked the department for help because they were worried about safety. That's why we close all the portals that we can is to protect the public, not trying to deny anybody access to something cool. Snowdy estimates there are likely 7,000 abandoned mines across Montana in every county in the state. Just this morning, I got a call from a fellow in Roundup. His backyard disappeared, or a big chunk of it did, into a mine collapse, an old coal mine. The roof got weak and it collapsed and left him with about a 12 foot deep hole in his backyard. That's gonna be a very high priority. The Abandoned Mine Lands program typically focuses on coal mines. It's been funded through a fee on coal production. Last year, that brought in $3.3 million. But when Congress passed the Bipartisan Infrastructure Bill last year, it provided another $4.6 million a year for the next 15 years. That gives us the ability to hire more people, to get out and address problems that we just don't have time or the money to get to before. If you have any questions or suspect you might have an abandoned mine on your property, you're encouraged to call the Abandoned Mine Lands program. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.